to be lost is as legitimate a part of your process as being found. <sighs> feeling like you have no idea what you're doing with your life is one of the most frustrating feelings in the world. And there's no doubt that all of us understand the feeling of being lost in our lives. For a long period of time, I believed that I would be able to figure everything out as I went through my life. But it almost feels like no matter how much I learn and experience, the question, what do I really want to do with my life, keeps coming back to me every now and then. The reason why I'm talking about this is that I'm currently going through it myself. You see, life is never a straight line from A to B, no consistent. And to me, it's like the ocean waves that have ups and downs, and the ocean is always in motion. I used to try fighting against this feeling because I was terrified of the waves at first. However, as I spent more time learning about myself, I slowly started accepting my feelings, and it was as if I learned to ride the waves instead of going against them. Although I haven't come to the conclusion of what I want to do with my life yet, I feel that I have discovered different ways to understand this feeling and see this more positively than in the past. So in this video, I would like to talk about feeling lost in life. This feeling is normal, and why do we think it's bad to feel this way? Talking to my friends, colleagues, and seeing some of the comments from you guys makes me realize that I'm not the only person who sometimes feel lost in life. But it's interesting to see that a lot of us tend to perceive the feeling of being lost in life as something negative. But if feeling lost is such a universal human experience, why do we find it so hard to accept this? In our modern society driven by achievements and competitions, we learn early on that we need to always know what's going on, both around us and in our minds. It puts significant pressure to choose right and avoid wasting time on subjects such as art, music, moral studies that are not related to high school or university entrance exams, or on jobs, opportunities and relationships that aren't a good fit for you. But my question is, how can one have such certainty and knowledge to choose what the right path is for them? We often define the right path as going to a good school, going to a good university, and getting a secure job that pays us money, finding an amazing partner to marry, etc. And the right path is often laid out for us by our parents or societal perspectives. In a way, this path is safe and provides us with a feeling of security and comfort. Although there's nothing wrong with following the right path, you might not like what people think of right. Like all of us have different preferences on food, we should have different tastes and life choices. We are inclined to pursue things that seem right, based on societal perspectives from an early age in our lives. What this means is that we subconsciously end up perceiving the feeling of being lost negatively. Because we are always busy learning about external things such as academic subjects at school, or doing things as we are taught by others when we are young, so much so that when we experience our own thoughts and perspectives which do not align with what is often perceived as common in society, we start worrying about it. This means that when we experience the feeling of being lost, our instant reaction becomes negative because we barely spend time learning about ourselves and we are not immune to our thoughts and perspectives being different from others because many things that we have done or chosen in the past have been laid out nicely for us. Is that where you want to end up in life? So if you ever feel lost in life, it might mean that whatever you're doing or pursuing is not aligning with your actual beliefs and values, which is an indication that you have acquired a stronger connection with your inner self. Say you got a corporate job because you thought that climbing up a corporate ladder was the right thing to do after finishing university. But after you spend some time in the company, you start feeling that you don't give a toss about it in experiencing the feeling of being lost. 
or you wanted to be a writer but you went to university to become a lawyer because your parents and friends told you that it would be a better way for your career. Now you became a lawyer but you don't enjoy your work because you don't feel passionate about it and you're feeling lost. These are just a few examples but what I wanted to explain to you is that the feeling of being lost can be an indication that there's something unfulfilling in our life and a chance for us to take action in order to solve the situation. And all of us always get influenced by external things such as people in the environment of how we grew up to become who we are today. So I believe that the important thing is to surround yourself with people you believe in or would like to become like in the future. When I feel lost in life, what I normally do is to observe the people around me who are 5 years, 10 years, 20 years older than me and ask myself, is that who I want to become in the future or is that where I want to end up in life? This is because I see my future self in people that I see or interact with on a daily basis and if the answer is yes, then stick with them because it means that they will encourage you to become a better version of yourself. But if not, start thinking about how you can find other people to expand your community. The more you learn, the more you understand what you don't want in life. I look at life as constant suffering and it doesn't get any easier as we age or have more experience because we consistently face different problems no matter how old we are or what kind of lives we have. This is why I believe that thinking like I'll be happy once I get something is a dangerous mindset to have. Say you don't like your 9 to 5 job at the moment and are seeking to do something different like doing freelancing work. If you think that creating a job will make everything about your life perfect, then you'll be disappointed when you find out how much work needs to be put in to run a business on your own or that you face a challenge which you have to work way longer than 40 hours per week to sustain yourself. So this example describes that there are different challenges in 9 to 5 jobs in doing freelancing work and neither is easier than the other. As years go by, one thing that is becoming more and more certain to me is that I started becoming better at telling what I don't want in my life because every time I experience something new, the answer is either that is something that I want or I don't want. So for things that I have never done in my life, there's no way for me to tell if that works for me. And this is an indication that I won't be able to find my life path if I don't try something uncertain that always brings challenges and errors. So if you're feeling lost in life, the best thing is to do something different other than what you're currently doing because the feeling is reminding you that what you're currently doing is something that you don't want in life. As I said, everyone feels lost from time to time. It's natural for us to search, wonder and struggle to find the way and create the life that we would like for ourselves. Because without the feeling of being lost in life, we wouldn't be able to change, ask questions and grow into new versions of ourselves that are more aligned with what we truly believe and value which isn't defined or decided by others or the external environment. So if you're feeling lost right now, don't be scared, don't blame yourself or lose hope and I would like you to enjoy the situation although I know how difficult it can be. At the end of the day, no one has it all figured out and everybody is always in search of a life that would provide them with happiness and fulfillment. For me, when it comes to feeling lost in life, I try taking action and exploring even if I don't know what I'm doing at all rather than standing still where I am. This is because although I know that moving forward and standing still is both painful and tiring, I decided that I would rather bear with the struggle of moving forward than the struggle of standing still because things in my life only change when I move forward and I have total control of what I decide to do in my life. You cannot connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life.
that's the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up because when you hit the like button, the YouTube algorithm helps my channel grow and reach people who are interested in the topics that I discuss on my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing and I will keep striving to create videos that are worth your time. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. Bye!